telephone conversation between President Johnson and Senator Everett Dirksen on November 29, 1963, at 11.40 a.m. Everett, uh, two things. This, uh, these investigations in the House and Senate on this Dallas affair, Hoover's a little concerned about uh, uh, reflecting on him. He's making a very full report on it. The Attorney General's getting an inquiry state inquiry. He's a very young and able and effective man. And we don't want to, we've got some international complications that could come up to us if we, if we uh, uh, not very careful. So we've been trying to figure out how we could uh, 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 best to handle this thing. And it seems to us we might uh, ask a member of the court might even ask uh, Alan Dulles, uh, might ask a couple of members of the House, a couple of the Senate, and wrap up uh, the three uh, divisions of government uh, so we'd have a very high caliber, top flight, uh, blue ribbon uh, group that uh, the whole world would have absolute confidence yeah. in. I've talked to Mansfield and to the Speaker, and uh, uh, that appeals to them. Uh, yeah. I think that appeals to Hoover. I think it appeals to the Justice Department yeah. and the Secretary of State. I want to see what uh, reaction you had. See, this started when Eastland came over to my office the other afternoon. Yeah. And he wanted to get this. Incidentally, I talked to him, too. And he said Did you talk to him? Yeah, and he said it's great with him. Okay. He's got a state's rights problem there. If he goes to sending the investigations down into Texas, they may be going into Jackson, you know. Yeah. Vice versa. Yeah, I undertook this only because yeah. uh, Jim initiated yeah. it. I talked to McClellan and I Sam talked Irwin and others. I had kid to Dick Russell, too, and he kind of thought it would be bad to, for uh, just the uh, Senate committee and the House yeah. committee and all of them be running over the lot. So if it's all right, that it can be buttoned up. And uh, we have a request uh, from the Attorney General that view of the heavy mail that Ms. Kennedy will get, that the ordinary 10,000 that uh, the president's wife gets uh, for the purpose of answering mail yeah. be increased to 50 for the first year. Yeah. Uh, Mike says he co-sponsor that if you go along with I it. I will. And that, that'll be fine. Okay. Now, uh, let me see. Uh, I want to talk to you and Charlie in the next day or two about uh, how in the world we're going to get some little action between now and time we go home. If we don't, why, we're going to get a bad press. Yeah. We just, the people, we, we've got to get our appropriations out, but we ought to make some progress. Now, Harry Bird's very interested in seeing what this budget be before he reports this tax bill out. I've talked to Eisenhower and Bob Anderson and them in yeah. some detail about that. Yeah. I want to talk to you about it. I'm already uh, uh, doing everything that I humanly can to... Uh, to keep that within bounds and not be in a position to give you some uh, estimates, but I hope you all be in a position to close those hearings when you, you, you it's tentatively planned to close them whenever it was. When yeah. was it six? Well, uh, originally it was the 17th, but we pushed it back to uh, the 6th or 7th. 6th, I think. Yeah. Then maybe you could get your report written and get it on the calendar as a minimum, because yeah. uh, Everett, what do I think about it? Uh, we can't... Uh, uh, we can pass the tax bill in a week, uh, although it's complicated when it just took five days last year with all the difficulties, but uh, after we get it out. But the uh, civil rights going to take so damn much longer time. And uh, uh, they got the McGregor Burns and the rest of them writing about the Congress, and uh, whatever else we say, uh, we do have a good many more appropriation bills up there in December than we've had before. Yeah. And uh, there is some merit to some of the things they're saying. I, I don't my life the hell, as I said the other day, but I, I do think that uh, if we could, we ought to make show some evidences of progress, and you'd be thinking about how you can help us get that tax bill out. I don't want to rush them, don't want to change the procedures, as I indicated in my message. I don't want to uh, try to uh, blast anybody out of anything, but if he's going to finish it six anyway, hey, well, let's just work some people a few nights up there writing this report and get it out there on the calendar. and. Uh, it'd be a wonderful thing if we pass that. Every businessman I've talked to since I've been in here, from the tops on down. Bob Anderson says every one of them are waiting to see whether they're really going to pass one. If they are, why, it's going to mean a lot to them. And that market went up the other day because they, they thought that we were going to be stable with business because they think we're going to be frugal. 
But uh, you got to help me, my friend. Well, I'll be back there Monday. Okay. And I'll talk to you. And you give some thought to it now. Let's try to get that tax bill out. House passed it, and we've been on it one year, 11 months. And if Congress is to, is to, is to function at all and can't pass the tax bill between January and January, well, we're in a hell of a shape. Yeah. And you know that they, they've had enough hearings on that thing. If they finish a mistake, they ought to write a report in a week, and you ought to pass it in a week. Yeah. But, uh, the then they'd all know it's effective January the 1st, and every businessman in this country would uh, would have some confidence, and you'd probably pick up a bunch of Senate seats because you're running the Senate like I ran it. Uh, uh, you're being pretty patriotic, and you cooperate. Yeah. The markup is going to take a little time, I think. The what? The markup. Well, they, they're gonna be good money. they can do that in a week. They marked up the other one in five days. It's a hell of a lot more complicated, Treasury tells me. If they can do the other one in five days, give them seven on this one. So that would be the 13th, and you could have the damn thing passed by. We don't need to go home to Christmas Eve, 22nd, yeah. and you'd have 10 days to pass it. Now, Albert Gore's got a deal. Hey, he wants to do this and that, but... Uh, we could table those amendments heads, and we, we've, got, we've got an obligation to the Congress, and we, we've just got to show that they can do something, because we can't pass civil rights. We know that. Well, we let me talk to Harry and John Williams when I get okay. back on that. All right. All right.